So I suppose the early days for us in public health were when the pandemic hit in Europe. And for me and my public health colleagues, that was a time of huge anxiety really, because we knew what a global pandemic could be. We were just overwhelmed. We knew this was going to be massive. Public health wasn't set up to deal with hundreds and thousands of cases of an infectious disease. So I brought a proposal through the HSE into the Department of Health on setting up a contact tracing process at a national level. We got a call from the HSE saying, we need help setting up an environment where we can contact trace people, we can contact people who've tested positive and we can trace their contacts. So we sent a team in and working with the HSE, we got 10 call centres to do contact tracing up and running in the space of about three weeks. I think what Vision did was they helped us make the changes we knew had to be made, but make them really fast. Through the working with people and respecting what people could do, and then the push to do it more quickly. Um, I think that's really what allowed us to set up contact tracing so quickly. And that's a real tension for us clinically about doing contact tracing right and thoroughly, at the same time getting to as many people as quickly as we can. I think Ireland's been amazing in terms of contact tracing. Outside of Asia, we're pretty much the only country that had a contact tracing programme comprehensively contact tracing every case of COVID throughout the whole pandemic. Vision were key in, in helping us do that at pace and in empowering all the different players to undertake their part of the process to contribute to the whole. The early stages of the vaccination programme were extremely challenging. We were limited by supply and it was important that we manage the relationship with the likes of our general practice uh, partners who were instrumental in delivering the vaccination programme. Vision came to be involved in the programme simply because we were limited in terms of resources. We needed a skilled, experienced partner who would support us in managing the relationship with general practice and the GP community as a whole. I led the GP vaccine rollout for Vision. So I was on the ground from February when we kicked off the project and then right through, through delivery. So first challenge for us was data. Data means stuff like what's the address of the GPs, where is it going to, and how many vaccines do we have? And the most difficult one was how are we going to distribute that vaccine in a fair way amongst the GPs? Once we went live, the reality of what the GPs were facing became really clear. That reality being they're dealing with very vulnerable patients who are very anxious and creating a lot of stress for GPs. We went from a data mindset to we need to give these GPs a commitment they can rely on in enough time that they can plan their clinics. Very, very quickly, over two to three weeks with a focus on mood and a focus on commitments, we developed a really, really fantastic working relationship basically across the board with the GPs. There was some concerns as to how we would communicate, how we would entertain them, and how we would go about understanding the needs that they had. I think the introduction of a GP relationship management team, certainly from my perspective, was one of the key wins within the program. Key standouts in terms of our engagement with Vision Consulting was underlying everything they did was in the national interest and in as far as was possible, protecting our country against the grave consequences of COVID-19. Two core skills we, we develop when we look to mobilize in an organization. Number one is, is listening. Listening not just to what somebody is saying, but listening to the background, what their underlying concerns are, what their fears and worries are. And the second that goes with that is making promises to people that they can count on and take action on. So if I promise to deliver vaccines to a GP somewhere in Ireland by 10 o'clock tomorrow, they have confidence that that will happen. These two skills are easy to describe and understand, but much more challenging to implement in practice. What we do that very few other people do is we focus on mobilizing people, taking action, taking action in an uncertain environment. And we do that by getting in touch with what matters for people, individually and collectively. And when you get people in touch with what matters and you provide some organization, they move really quickly. That skill of mobilization is at the heart of what Vision does. Well, what I like about Vision's approach and what was essential for the pandemic was it was about getting it done. And also I think what was really unique 
with vision is it's all about the people. So other change processes are about take the people out of it, let's get the change right. But I think vision recognise that all the change happens by and through people.